Good morning, everyone. Mark here on the Culinary Compass. Uh, I am not just sitting here because of these absolutely whimsical, susical-like um, flowers, which are called alliums. Um, they're named alliums uh, after the family of uh, things that include garlic, onions, shallots, and of course, some of these flowers. They're all part of that kind of oniony family. The reason I'm sharing this with you today is because if you go to farmer's markets, and I know most of you do, especially this time of year as it's getting warm, you're going to start to see these showing up in your farmer's markets. Uh, and so I walked by these for many, many, many years. I did not even stop to figure out what are these things and what would I do if I wanted to cook them. Well, I did learn a long time ago how to do that. My dear friend uh, Jean uh, convinced me to grow garlic this year, and so I'm harvesting this bounty of garlic scapes. Uh, so why don't we go take a look over in the garlic patch, and I'll show you how these things are growing. All right, so let's take a walk over, pass by beautiful little grapes. Check out those little things right there. Could anything be so cute? And those are going to grow up to be such beautiful, beautiful grapes. So here are my garlic scapes, um, my garlic patch. As you can see, just like any kind of oniony or leek plant that's part of the family, plant them about four, five, six inches apart. They grow, grow, grow. Looks just like a leek, actually. And then you end up with these garlic scapes. Beautiful, beautiful set of designs that are actually worthy of not cutting at all, but just planting close enough to you so you can have the pleasure of seeing them. So I want to take the garlic scape thing before I cook them with you in the next episode. I'd like to talk to you about garlic scapes as gifts um, or as something to satisfy your crafty Ness. <laughs> so, of course, I showed you how incredibly these can be in a vase on their own or as the base for other colored flowers. Um, and I'm not making a beautiful bouquet for you, but you can imagine how amazing it would be to put a whole bunch of other kinds of colorful flowers there. The other thing that I love to do with garlic scapes, and I think is so cool, is to just uh, either harvest a bunch or buy a couple of bunches, break them in, and take about maybe 10 of the garlic scapes um, and uh, make a gift out of it. And all you need is some nice thistle twine. Just go ahead and do your simple tie. If you're fancy and you do bows and all that good stuff, then that's wonderful. It's even nice sometimes to wrap the thistle twine around multiple times and create kind of like this beautiful band here because um, the color contrast is gorgeous between that kind of brownish gray thistle twine and the beautiful spring green color. Um, so go ahead, tie them up, maybe uh, bring them over to a neighbor, somebody who's never used garlic scapes before, or uh, somebody that you just want an excuse to say hi to. So next Culinary Compass, we're gonna take a look at how you cook these babies. All right, that's all for today. Ciao for now.